Hello everyone, it's QO again. In this video, we're going to learn about probe calibration. It's a very important process before you start to inspect parts. There are two purposes of probe calibration. First, calculation of probe diameter. Second, relative position between probes. Calibration is performed using master ball, aka reference ball. Calibration errors of the probe affects directly on the measured value, so they are very important process. Okay, let's take a look at the first purpose. Calculation of probe diameter. It means calculating the actual probe diameter. You may wonder, why do I have to do this even though I know the diameter of the probe I installed? So the stylus made a contact with the part and it delivers the pressure to the module and inside the module to the pivot points and then the pivot points is fall apart then it triggers the signal and when the signal is triggered it detects the uh, coordinates so that means the actual calculated probe diameter would be smaller than the actual size so look at the importance of compensated volt diameter. There's a difference between the actual probe diameter and the calibrated probe diameter due to the deflection or probing error generated while probing. And the compensated volt diameter is calculated smaller than the actual diameter because stylus delivers the pressure and the module detects the signal and while all these process is going and there's a deflection coming up that's why it gets smaller as the trigger pressure gets higher and the probe length gets longer since the shank and stamp is thinner the differences between the actual diameter is bigger the second purpose calculation of probe relative position if you're using various angles it is necessary to calculate the relative position between the each probes after probing each angle on the master ball, there is a deviation between the first probe, which is the reference position, and then all the other probes, center of the ball, has deviation, so it has to be calculated before you use those angles. That's the process of calculation of probe relative position. Remember the A angle, B angle, or zero is the reference for the current group. So after calibration is done, result will come up and you can see all those values including probe diameter, relative position, standard deviation and sphericity which stands for form. So manage the standard deviation within 3 micrometers and sphericity within 5 micrometers in general. This means it can be changed under the different circumstances such as probe gets longer, bigger size wall diameter, etc. Calibration period wise. We recommend calibrate your probe more than one time every day or before you start to inspect parts. It can be quite difficult to manage it every day, but it is recommendation. So if you can, then it's better to keep your probe as in the very newest condition, but it's not mandatory. But we strongly recommend to do the calibration if there's a, any collision or impact on the probe. On this page, you can see all these steps of creating a group. Please refer to this page and I'm going to show how the steps are creating a group with a video. So as you can see on the right bottom, there's a live capture camera is on and I'm going to show you how the steps are for the creating a group. First, install the probe, sensors, modules and stylus as I'm pointing it right now. And then, second, we have to install that probe on the neural measure. CMM menu and then click install CMM and probe and the window will pop up as you can see now it's already 
set up the exactly same setting as the actual probe is. All the model sensors and stylus. 3 diameter, total length 20, stem material, steel, stylus installed. So click install and then close the window. And after installation is done, click probe and then create a probe group. A message will appear that says, would you like to locate the reference sphere position? So I haven't done it yet, so I'm going to click yes. And the reference positioning window will pop up. And then you touch one point of top of the uh, reference ball. And the count will go up and then click auto and then it will automatically measure the reference ball with the six points. But first, there are three points first and then calculate the, the toughest points and then making a six points to set up the position of the reference ball. And the reference positioning result is coming up. Diameter of the uh, reference ball is already set up and then standard deviation and form is appearing. And then after that, created a probe group window will appear. And then the name you can put, you can input names, whatever you want. And the period is seven days per day. And then the probe length. Probe length is the uh, uh, CMM installation on the neural measure. So it doesn't have to be changed. And then click OK. And then as you can see, multiple probe calibration window will pop up and then you can see all these options but right now I'm going to show you how can you adjust the A angle and the B angle as you can see 7.5 degrees by and then you can change anything you want and then first the probe should be 0 degree of A and B and you can delete it just like that but I'm going to click add 5 directions which is very commonly use the ang five different angles. The first one is zero zero, and then all the other four different directions. And then I'm gonna I'm going to add a forty five degrees and b sixty seven point five degrees. Add it as a sixth position of probe angle. And after all this list is making done, and then click calibration, and then it'll automatically start multi-probe calibration. So now the first position is being calculated. Each position will make a contact with the reference ball with six points. Now they change it to A 90 degrees and B 0 degree. You can see the probe is avoiding the stem of reference ball automatically. And move on to the next position keeping the a 9 degrees and just change it to B degrees as in positive 90 degrees so finish the calibration on to the center and change it to the next position and then go again. So this position is A 90 degrees and B is in negative 90 degrees.
And then for the last six position, which is A 45 degrees, B 67.5 degrees. So after calibration is done, go back to probe number one, which is A0 and B0, the reference position, and then the result will pop up. And you can see that all these names, calculated actual diameter, and then XYZ as a relative position. You can see that uh, probe number one is 0, 0, 0. and then use the angles then the deviation and then sphericity which is perform you can see their standard deviation is lower than 3 micrometers and sphericity is under 5 micrometers if you want to see the uh, result of the calibration again you can click the probe menu and then probe list information and the same window will pop up. That's it for now and thank you for watching and I'll be back with the next video. Thank you very much.